Hello student. Today we will be discussing about a pedigree analysis. In a pedigree, the square boxes means male and circle means female. And this dark field positions are denoted as the disease person. According to the question, this pedigree is given and the only information is given is that the trait is recessive. Now, recessive trait is of two types. First one is X-linked, second one is autosomal. In case of X-linked recessive, the females having both the recessive chromosome will be affected. And in case of male, only one chromosome is present. So if the one chromosome is affected, then the male will be affected. In case of this first generation and second generation offspring, the female is like this and the male will be absolutely normal. So in case of this boy, it will get the Y from his father and X dash, that is the affected allele will from mother. But according to this question, this male is absolutely normal. So X-link recessive trait is definitely not in this pedigree. So we can omit this. So only the option is present is autosomal disease. Here we are considering the disease condition as small a small a and the normal condition as capital A capital A and capital A small a. So this is a small a small a person and this is also a small a small a person. According to this, we can write this also a small a small a small a small a person. So when we consider these two, that means this small a small a are coming from these two parents as their mothers are affected. So both of them at least have a small a allele. And as they are normal, we can write them as capital A, small a, capital A, small a. And similarly, this capital A is coming from their parent. So their father will definitely be capital A, capital A. If one small a is present here, then among these three, there must be an affected child, but it is not present. And we have to remember one more thing. Those who are coming from the out of from the family, that is this four person, they are absolutely normal. That is homozygous normal. Now from this two, this girl is definitely capital A small A and this boy is definitely capital A small A. Now from these two, we will only getting this phenotype. If we cross capital A, capital A with capital A, small a, we will get two capital A, capital A and two capital A, small a. That is probability of getting this is half. So similarly, this will also capital A, capital A, and capital A, small a. In the question, it has been asked that in the fifth generation, what is the probability of the child being affected? That means it will have a small a, small a allele. If this have a small a, small a allele, that means this A and B in the fourth generation must have a small a allele. And as these two parents are coming from out of the house, so they will give the capital A allele and this small a allele is definitely coming from this parent and this parent. So probability of getting this capital A small a is half. Here also it is half. Now from this two, the capital A small a is coming. So here also the probability will be half. And now when this two is crossed, what we will be getting? We will be getting one capital A, capital A, two capital A, small A, and one small A, small A. That is getting of small A, small A is one fourth. 
so we will be writing one fourth over here now up to this point that is from up to the second generation all the genotypes are certain but from the third generation the probability of coming capital a small a is getting halved so we have to multiply all these probabilities as this all event are independent of each other so we will be multiplying all the probability values that is all we have to do is this so a answer is 1.5 1/64 so in the fifth generation the probability of the child being diseased is 1/64 thank you for watching the video